Right, hey guys, here we are back for another guide. Hole 16 here. Now, this is a very interesting pin location. Let's see, I don't, I'm not sure if we, if we can utilize this headwind here very well, very effectively. So, one of the things that you'll see is I'm kind of pointing this into the rough. I'm thinking of going, I would probably go about six rings here on red barchetta. We're just going to try to top spin it pretty much everything we have. Just see, you know, I, I kind of want to just see how this fairway rolls out. But you'll see that I kept that ball guide to the left because I think the wind effect is going to help bring it back to the right. So let's just see if that happens. But also I want to see how much this rolls out. It actually looks like it goes through. So this is just kind of a good learning experience. Now one of the things that I might do is instead of playing this shot, this is the first time, of course, it might be nice to know what this rough does, but it'll also be good to just see what, if we do get to this edge, are we talking wedge or are we talking, because it almost seems very max club. So it seems kind of risk reward, like you almost want to, and it, it, it appears that I'm going to be probably correct here. And you can see here's the line. So the question becomes, and you can see on these front pin locations, what this is going to teach you is you'll see on these front pin locations, uh, we'll be in range here, so it's going to be kind of ri risk reward getting out to this edge as good as we can to get ourselves in wedge distance. Now, of course, this wind specifically isn't all that great, so it's really not going to be a great wedge. Now, is this going to be an uphill wedge shot? It looks relatively flat. Might be a little bit uphill. The very tough wind. Um, I'm not sure whether to hit this from the rough or the fairway because I could I could always pitch this back You know, there's a variety of different ways we can play this. But let's just play it from here. We'll do it Kind of a minish club here something along the lines of this and Keep in mind your ball guides gonna collapse down So I'm thinking I'm about five rings for max give or take or min, I mean, sorry. I thought that 35 was fine. So right at 35, it's giving me eight, five in this case. Also keep it in mind, this ball guide will probably collapse down. It'll probably, you can see it has a little bit of right hook that should straighten out. So let's try eight, five here, see what it looks like. And let's see if it does straighten out to more of a coming back straight versus to the right because it's that left point that kind of changes your shot arc. So that's one of the things you always want to try to consider. So let's see how this rolls back. It looks like it's just a hair to the right, but it almost did straighten out. It, it definitely took a little bit of that right hook out, as you can see we had, and it just... And, the biggest thing was the break of the green. It looks like the break of the green is so sloped heavily to the right that it just kind of dominates. So that's also something that'll, that it's nice to learn because that's going to tell us we're going to need two or three bars of left spin to kind of counter that slope to get the ball coming back straight. So that's just something that's good to learn. And, you know, the first time you play through, this is kind of when you want to start studying the course. And as you can see, you know, we want to know, and that's one of the reasons that you saw me pitch backwards there. It's because I really wanted to know, okay, how advantageous is this spot? So keep things like that in mind. Good luck. I'll see you guys on the next one.